Sound Business returns now to Transact Technologies. Joining us is uh, part of the leadership team here at the organization. Uh, first off is a, a senior partner with the organization, Dave Durchie. Uh Also with us is Vic Seidahar. Vic is uh, the Vice President of Logistics within the organization and also Vice President Doug Call. Previously, Mike Regan had taken us through uh, some realities for 2009. Uh, his suggestion was is that there was going to be some tough sledding on behalf of the, on the part of the motor carriers. My interest is in looking at the motor carrier situation. And uh, Vic, you and Dave are, are quite close to the carriers. Um, what do you see happening in 2009? Uh, thank you, Denny. Uh, with respect to the LTL marketplace, um, even during these challenging economic times, we believe there's going to be a continued focus on improving service by increasing the number of direct service points thus resulting in reduced transit times and, and product handling. And all of this is a very positive thing for the marketplace. But when it comes to LTL pricing, we really think we're going to have a mixed bag in 2009. We believe that there's going to be uh, continued overall aggressive pricing uh, continuing throughout 2009. And we think that's due to not only the economy and, and the, where there is really a lack of freight for this marketplace, but we think it ties to some of the uh, uh, principles that we've subscribed to over over uh, the past, uh, such as lane matching, uh, which is very critical for carriers and being able to uh, balance their networks. Um, we believe also that there's going to be uh, general rate increases in the neighborhood of 5 to 5.9 percent uh, for those carriers that are off of, uh, for those shippers that are off of uh, carriers' class tariffs. However, we believe there's going to be lower increases experienced by those shippers who are under their own contracts with particular carriers. We also see that there's going to continue to be a focus on yield, especially for the publicly traded companies that really have to respond and answer to Wall Street. I think given the combination of approaches being taken by the carriers in this marketplace today, it's a very unusual marketplace from many perspectives, to say the least. Shippers seem to be very concerned right now about uh, motor carriers' financial uh, viability and the potential impact of carrier restructuring and uh, perhaps in some cases failures. Um, Vic, would you comment on, on that concern? Certainly. Um, I believe there's a reasonable chance that some carriers operating in today's LTL marketplace, for example, won't be with us in a year. Uh, we're following the truckload marketplace as well very carefully, in particular because of the uh, significant number of failures that we've seen in that segment of the uh, motor uh, carrier industry. I think depending upon the extent of the failures and restructuring, it could definitely have an impact on capacity and carrier choices in 2009. Now, this eventually could lead to higher rates in the LTL, uh, but I don't think that's going to be happening in 2009. You've announced some actually stunning results uh, recently in, in a uh, uh, on-the-record piece that was done. Um, some really big numbers have shown up. What about this year? Are, are there still going to be significant sh uh, savings uh, for shippers in the marketplace? Is that possible? Absolutely. Uh, we truly believe there's opportunities to achieve significant freight savings uh, in 2009 and, and beyond. There's still going to be too many trailers chasing too few pounds of freight, especially during the first half of 2009. Now, in addition to the economy boating well for driving freight costs down, we rely on a few fundamentals at the same time to get great pricing for our freedom clients and our, custom, our customized tariff clients. And, and those include the relationships that we have with our carriers, especially at the senior level. This goes a long way in, in, in developing programs, continuing to strengthen the programs, and be able to deliver the freight savings that our customers come to expect from us. Uh, it also includes the processes that we employ to bring books of business to the marketplace and the analytical tools that we use to deliver the savings. And finally, the LTL spend that we leverage in the marketplace helps us deliver the savings that we have come to deliver for our clients in the past. 